Dear students, welcome again. We continue our course. In this video, we will talk about the mistakes that we may make when we use DFD diagrams. We talked before about the importance of DFD diagrams and the importance of UML. We said that DFD diagrams and UML are graphical tools and human can understand graphics faster than language but it is supposed that everyone understand the meaning of these graphics and the designer use these graphics accurately so we should not make mistakes when we represent our system using dfd or uml any mistake may generate a misunderstanding by the informatic engineer who will implement our system. I will present almost one mistake by slide. You should take your time and try to stop the video, to look at the slide and to discover what is the mistake. When you prepare your project, when you finish your project, try to verify that you didn't make such mistakes. There is a lot of other mistakes, but these are important for our uh, project. What is the mistake here? As you see, we have a system connected home, but there is no representation of a system because when we represent a system at the context level, all the system is represented by one process and here is no process this is the representation of external so we cannot use this simple to represent a process so this is not a context diagram this is the error we go to the next slide is there any problem here think a little bit i think you discovered it it is the number of the process because in the context level the number of the process should be zero only process number one or two or three it should be in the level zero it is not in the context diagram here is the problem what is the mistake here we have only inputs what is our system useful for so we cannot use it our system does not give any useful thing why does it exist such error we call it a black hole it is not only for all the system for any process we should verify that there is inputs and outputs if, if there is inputs and there is no outputs, we can say that it is like a black hole. It absorbs everything. It is similar to the previous slide, but it is the opposite. Our process generates everything, but our system doesn't need anything. So it is the outputs and we can say it is a miracle why because it does not consume anything and it produces data this is a little bit more difficult than the previous slide think a little bit about it i think you discovered it it is the data flow this should be a data flow the DFD is not responsible to understand how we start the system. What is important is the type of data that the user sent. It is not to inform us that the inhabitant start the application. We cannot see that in the DFD. This is not the goal of the DFD. It is normal that the user will start the application. Yes. But we, we, we cannot see that in the DFD. DFD diagrams 
helps us to know the data stores in the system, to know the treatment of data. But DFD is not responsible to show us everything about how we do that. What is the error here? I think you discover it. It is the communication between two external entities. So we have our system. DFD helps us to represent our system. What happened in the external environment, we are not responsible. So if we consider that this arrow should be in our system consumption value that means we should change something we should say that the meter itself it is in our system we cannot see the communication between the external entities what is the mistake here i said here it is level zero it is not context level I think you discovered it. Usually, the, the system should contain many processes, many functions. It is not really one function. Level zero, we cannot say that it, there is only one operation. The system should be decomposed in many processes in the first level. So we have context level in level zero, usually, between three to nine processes. So there is some problem here. The presence of data store is not a problem because it is level zero. The number one is not a problem because it is level zero. We add some details regarding our system. You know that we represent, we use some examples related to our project connected home. And we presented this project in many videos before. We use a sensor to capture the temperature, the humidity, the luminosity. What is the problem here? I think we discovered it. It is the same problem as before because we have communi direct communication bet between two external enti entities. If we consider sensor external entity, so we, we don't know what happened. It is not necessary to represent this relationship in the DFD diagrams. So we solve the problem. We replace the sensor by the data store. What is the problem? problem now? We have also the same problem. Why? Because we cannot communicate directly with a data store. Usually, data stores are used only by the processes of the system because we should open we should close these data stores we cannot communicate with the data stores from the external external entity cannot communicate directly with data stores the part that change the system so this is the mistake We add also, we replaced the data store by a process. What is the mistake now, in your opinion? Most of time, this represents a mistake. So we should pay attention if we have one process with one input and one output, because the process is supposed to produce something so usually it should combine many types of data in order to produce a new thing. What is the problem here? We are not in the context level or level zero. What is the problem here? You see that we have number one and number 1.1. Process number 1.1, 1 .1, it should be a child of the process one so we cannot see them in the same diagram they are not in the same level because process number one it should be detailed we can make a zoom to process one 
and we will see a complete diagram. This diagram contains process 1.1. So process 1.1 exists in a diagram that represents process 1, but it doesn't contain process 1. What is the problem here? The name of the data flow inscription it's not correct because it is not a data flow. So we change it. We make a student name. A student to make the registration, a student name come to the school administration. This is a real problem also because in DFD we use processes and process is a function. We don't use the entity of the system. When we talk about school administration, we talk about an entity. Usually we can make registration, student registration, because we should talk about a process in the system, not about an entity in the system. This is a problem. Also here, as we said before, we cannot communicate between an external entity and a data store. We cannot communicate between a data store and external entity. We cannot communicate between two data stores. Always they are the processes that should control this movement. Always they are the processes who take data from data stores, who inject data in data stores, who Take, who receive data from external entities, who send data to the external entities. What happened here? We have only one input and many outputs. With normal processes, the number of the outputs should be less than the inputs because the process in DVD should make something with data to produce information. So usually it consumes more than it produces as number of inputs and outputs. It is a, in a functional tree. What is the problem here? If you look into the name of the processes, it is student registration. This is a function and examination management and timetable management. If we concentrate, if we focus on the name of these processes, we can see that we have registration, we have examination, we have timetable management. The function number 3.1 and 3.2, they are not sub-functions of the function number 3, student registration. So they are not sub-functions. We cannot make them as sub-functions of this function. So this is a mistake. We should pay attention when we organize our, our functional tree that the sub-functions are really decompose the higher process. We can say validation of the data as sub-function. We can preparing interview with the student as sub-function of registration. We can say verification the payment as a function but we cannot say examination examination it is another part of the functions of the functional tree